hi guys to all of our friends and subscribers we say welcome back and if you're on this page for the first time welcome please do well to click on the subscribe button i'm Oluwa Femi Shoole, and today we'll be talking about money management in marriage i was in the garden some years ago should be about seven to eight years ago i can't really remember but it was a gathering of sunday school teachers we're having um, a class to prepare for sunday school you know so a question was raised as to how money should be managed in a family no that wasn't the question i think the question was as a man or as a husband should your wife know about all your income should your wife know about all your money that was the question to my surprise i, I, I wasn't really surprised but i was shocked i was shocked virtually all the men there said they were united on that that your wife should never know about all your money your wife shouldn't know some people were very very specific your wife shouldn't know exactly how much you earn your wife shouldn't know how much you have in your account and all of that you know it was it was very shocking i wasn't really surprised because i knew some people were like that but for all the men i think all of them i was the youngest so i think all of them said the same thing your wife shouldn't know your money right i think some of the problems we have in a lot of families are money related problems in fact the actual problem might not be money money might not have caused the fight or the argument but if you trace some of these problems down to the root you discover that they start coming out of money problems and because the wife doesn't know how much the husband earns because the husband doesn't know how the wife spends her money you know some kind of conflicts begin to arise it is just down to money management in the family well i'm just three years in marriage i'm not a financial advisor i don't know i'm not a counselor so i don't know exactly how it should be and i don't think it should be a certain way how a family runs their money will be different from how another family runs their money so far it works for you just find something that works for you you don't have to copy pattern from a particular family because you like the family they are cool the way they manage money you now want to impose something like that in your family it won't work it might not work so i think you just stick to what works for your family if the method or the pattern you use presently is not working then of course try to find a method that works just make sure it works now i think there are three frequently used methods should i say methods or path let's just say methods just get my point i think there are three frequently used methods when it comes to money management in families the first one is the husband has a separate account the wife has her separate account you know they make their money for themselves but they split family responsibilities the husband can be in charge of payment of school fees payment of certain bills in the house the wife can be in charge of buying of groceries paying of nepa bill you know and all of that the husband can be in charge of buying of, of petrol for the car buying of petrol for the generator the wife can be in charge of some other bills and if they want to do a family project maybe buy land build house buy a car they can find a way to okay this is the amount i will contribute maybe i'll contribute 60 percent you contribute 40 percent like that and it works for them another method that is frequently used is the husband has his personal account the wife has a personal account but my money is your money your money is my money even if we don't have a joint account I hope you get what, what I'm saying. Any money that comes into your account, any money you make from your main job or your side hustle, somebody dashed your money, any money you have is our money. We are free to spend it. Any money I have, any money I make is our money and we are both free to spend it. So even if you make more than me, you are my wife, but you make more than me, any amount you make is still our money. So, whatever, um, so whether I want to buy something, want to pay for something and I don't have money, so whether you work with a company and I'm self-employed, your salary is sure at the end of every month but because i'm self-employed my salary is not sure so there are some months that i don't really have money that we can rely on your income to sustain the family or to get whatever we want for the family then the third method is that as a husband i have my personal account as a wife you have your personal account but we now open a joint account for the family so knowing your income a certain percentage of your income goes into that joint account Knowing my income, a certain percentage of my income goes into that joint account. So whatever thing we have to do for the family will be taken from the joint account. 
I don't know if you get me. So whether I want to buy groceries, I want to pay for bills, I want to pay school fees, I want to buy petrol for the car, I want to get gas, I want to anything we want to do comes from the joint account. We want to buy land, we want to build a house, we want to buy a car, anything, any family project we want to do comes from the joint account because you know it's a joint effort. You know, so whatever money I have in my personal account, I can use it for whatever I like. And nobody can question me. So whether I want to dash the money out, I want to buy something you think is relevant, I just want to use it for myself, you know, I want to hang out with the boys. It is my money, I can spend it however I like. Whatever money you have in your personal account, you can also use it however you like, and nobody can question you. So whatever thing we need to do for the family comes from the joint account. That is the third method I am aware of. So if there's any other method you think um, is used by people and it works, please let us know in the comment section. So now I want to speak for myself and my family. You don't have to do it how we do it, but this is how we do it. And it works. We use the second method. We don't have a joint account. I have a personal account. I have like three personal accounts. My wife has her personal account. So my money is our money. Our money is my money. So whenever I don't have money and she has money, we use that money. Whenever she doesn't have and I have, we use my money. Even if I want to buy something that is not related to the family, just personal stuff, I just want to feel good and I don't have money, I ask for it and she gives me. And it works for us. We are three years in marriage now, like I said before, and this is how we do it and it works for us. We don't have any issues. You know? Your money is my money, my money is your money. So whether it's money you work for, somebody dashed you, I don't even want to. If it is your money, it is our money. And the same thing goes for me. Any money I have is our money. That's how we do it. And it works for us. If there's a reason why you think the listed methods will not work for some people, please let us know in the comment section. If the other methods you know of, or there's a met particular method you use in your family and it works, please also let us know in the comment section. Please like and share this video so that other people can see them. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do well to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time, bye.